We have a 2021 Jeep Wrangler JLU Rubicon. We're running uh, 35 inch tires uh, with the metal cloak uh, control arms and a three and a half inch in suspension lift uh, to match our Overland setup. What I want to talk to you about today is how to use the four wheel drive system in your Jeep. Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Driveway. Today we're just going to go over how to use the four wheel drive functions of your Jeep. Jeep has some functional displays on the vehicle itself that kind of shows you some of the components that we're going to deal with. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the vehicle in four wheel drive. Now this can be done uh, while you're in park, it can be done while you're in drive. And all you do, I'm going to go ahead and put the vehicle in drive. You're just going to take the shift lever and you're going to pull it towards you. You're going to hear a little noise. You're going to see the four wheel drive indicator and then you'll see a little lock on the transfer case. And what that means is that the vehicle is in four wheel drive. Now you have a couple modes that you can use while you're in four wheel drive high. Off-road plus, if it, you're equipped, is the button right above the sway bar disconnect. And what it does is it takes the traction control off and makes four wheel high off-road plus active. And what that does is it just changes the way the transmission um, shifts. It gives you more power and then it, it deals with slip a little bit differently. So it gives you a little bit more performance when you're in four wheel high and you wanna go a little bit faster than where you need to be in four wheel low. You disconnect it same way by just hitting the off-road plus button and you'll see the traction control is back on. Now the other feature that this Jeep has is that it has a sway bar disconnect and that button is right down here and you can press that button. You'll start to see it flashing up on the top. You'll see that the sway bar is disconnecting It'll show you that it's connected right now. And since we're sitting on a nice level surface, you can simply just take your foot off the gas and move a little bit. So you'll see that the sway bar disconnect button is flashing up on the screen. It's also flashing down below. Sometimes the process takes a little while for it to, um, to disconnect. All right, and once it disconnects, you'll see that it says sway bar disconnected on the dash and the sway bar light is not flashing anymore. Now, the purpose of the sway bar being disconnected is the sway bar limits the axle movement from side to side. And so as the vehicle articulates, it stops it. With the sway bar disconnect, you can actually articulate the wheels much further and it makes a huge difference off-road. So the next set for the vehicle is uh, we're going to go ahead and connect the sway bar back so you just hit that button it's going to show you that the sway bar connection is in process and then it'll reflect that on the screen so if you want to go to four low you got to shift the vehicle into neutral you're going to move this all the way down and over to the right and that's going to put you in um, neutral in the selector side you'll see it in the neutral area down here. The vehicle is in neutral and you're just gonna push down and you'll feel it go down in the gear. You'll hear the uh, transfer case change. You're gonna see electronic stability control is off. Now, four wheel off-road plus also functions in low range. And what that'll do is if you hit off-road plus, you're gonna see four low off-road plus active. And what that's gonna do is it is gonna allow the Jeep to really kind of crawl and the computer is gonna change the way the transmission shifts so it's not gonna shift as fast so you're gonna be able to hold gear and hold power much longer than you would otherwise. Now the other two features that this Jeep has is it has both a front and a rear locker. You can put the rear locker on by pushing the switch down and it's gonna show you the rear axle is locked and it's gonna show you a locked symbol there. Um, you can turn it off by hitting the off button and then it'll 
unlock the rear axle. And what that does is it makes sure that both tires are turning at the same. When the rear axle is unlocked, it acts like an open differential and they're both spinning until one goes free and then this one will stop and this one will spin. Traction control will try and break that wheel so that this wheel starts to get traction. But sometimes you want both wheels to turn at the same time. And by putting the locker on, it allows you to do that. If you, if your vehicle's equipped with a front locker, you can put both the front and rear lockers on at the same time. Again, it will display, and then you'll see a lock symbol on both edges, on both axles. To disconnect the lockers, you simply just have to hit the button where it says off, and the front axles are unlocked. You'll turn off-road plus off, and then switch the vehicle back into drive. You, to place the vehicle back into too low, you need to put the vehicle back in neutral. You're going to shift up on the transfer case back into neutral. You're going to slide it all the way over so it can go up and over to the right. And then you're going to go up and you'll be back into two wheel drive. At that point, the lock on the transfer case will come off and all of your features are back the way that they should be. Now the purpose of Off-Road Plus in your Jeep um, in either high or low range is to assist um, the vehicle in maintaining traction. And so it's gonna do a bunch of things to allow you to have more control over your vehicle when you're off-road. It's gonna limit wheel spin in certain areas and then it's going to give you more of an engine power. The features that I've used off-road merely makes a difference. I feel like that the vehicle is um, more under control uh, when I'm trying to crawl through certain things, but also in four-wheel high when using off-road plus. Um, it gives me a sense that the I'm, I can hold gears longer, which is going to keep the revs higher, which when you're going through soft terrain or other things, it's just a more beneficial uh, application when you're off-road. Now, there are options uh, to engage. Right now, the way Jeep has everything set up, you can only engage your lockers while you're in low range. Um, there is a way to engage your lockers, your rear locker, when you're in four-wheel high. There is a uh, section in the manual that kind of describes how to do that. I have a video I'll link in the description below that kind of tells you how to go through that. It's pretty simple and that way you can have your rear locker in four wheel high if you feel like you need it. Just remember, those are the, you know, when you have, uh, when you're off road, use four wheel drive before you need it. You don't get bonus points for getting as far as you can in two wheel drive before you get stuck. Because sometimes if you get stuck in two wheel drive, you can't get out in four wheel drive. So use your four wheel drive wisely. I hope you guys got something from the video. Thanks for checking out the channel. This is Dan from Fisher Jeep Adventures and we'll see you on the next one.